Ever since the Jurassic period, approximately 150 million years ago, leeches have shown concrete signs of existence through their fossilized remains. However, in a more modern sense, leeches have begun to take on a new form. The Yugi tubing scene has changed drastically over the past few years. What started out as deck profiles, new card speculations, and market watches has turned into a multi-platform content machine that now encompasses educational content and comedy. However, with evolution comes opportunity. The opportunity for these leeches to take new form and thrive in this new environment for better and for worse. This is the History of Yu-Gi-Oh! Clip Channels. Fortunately for historians, the beginning of this pandemic is quite clear and concise in regards to its source and origin. The beginning of this can be traced back to Farfa, having said once on stream that similar to Trollden, a Hearthstone clip channel, a hub for Yu-Gi-Oh! content creators clips would be a great idea. This is the new age. This is the new age. We're going to get Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Twitch highlight channels on YouTube. This is what we're waiting for. This is what I'm most excited about. Little did he know, this innocent suggestion would forever catapult Yu-Gi-Oh! content creation for the next four months in a completely new direction. Vladis Hypnokorn Baranovskis is a relatively small content creator on Twitch and YouTube, and is a well-known figure within the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. When he's not playing GeoGuessr or smoking crack, he's uploading fresh and original content to his channel Hypnocorn. However, a few months ago he developed the channel Hypnocorn Daily in order to upload content that was too short, off topic, or shit posty for his main channel, such as Digimon pack openings or short stream highlights. However, after Farfa's suggestion, Vlad began to upload more and more clips from Farfa's Twitch channel after seeing their immense success. This would continue for a period of time until he rebranded his channel to Farfa and Friends, signifying a clear change within the channel's overall content. Farfa and Friends was an immense success, reaching just under 9,000 subscribers over the course of two months. However, others would begin looking at the channel's success for inspiration for their own content. Along with Vlad's rapidly improving editing, Zed, aka Depth to Striker, would put his own spin on shitposts like Yu-Gi-Oh! clips that were viewer submitted, seeing rapid success as well. Quantal Think would also begin taking inspiration, and has been uploading clips and compilations for months as of the recording of this video. Although he literally can't edit to save his life, he has been seeing steady success regarding his leeching. Although multiple channels were starting to pop up, they were distinct enough in their editing and presentation that this period of time would be called the Golden Age, where daily Yu-Gi-Oh! compilations and funnies of high quality would be seen and appreciated by all. However, this period of grace would not last for long, as the Dark Ages were soon to approach. And then, he appeared. The one who had put this tenuous pact between content creators to the test. The Shining Angel. He descended from the cosmic realm and his teachings rang out within the servers, imparting forbidden knowledge to the leeches in hiding. A highly illegal method of view farming never before seen. Instead of editing clips to be optimized for viewing pleasure, why not just immediately rip the clip as soon as possible and upload it with little to no editing? With this power, the leeches would have the power to completely disrupt the content ebb and flow between the channels. Why be cordial with your fellow content peers and let them have those views in AdSense when they literally cannot edit fast enough to beat you to the upload? What had taken the Yu-Gi-Oh! community weeks to build up took minutes to destroy forever. So now we had a bunch of leech channels running around everywhere taking content and pissing everyone off. And let me tell you, when you're on your 17th consecutive hour of editing a banger video to provide for the community, and said community decides to stomp on your goodwill by butchering your video into pieces and uploading these fragments for more views combined than your video would have gotten on its own, you start to realize that your mortal enemies might not necessarily have a white name. No, it might just be certain people within these communities, for what is an enemy except for someone out to hinder one's goals. This period of time would be known as the Eclipse, a period of terror unhindered leeching by channels like Rolltrat and... Oh, 
me, and the deaths of good channels such as Farfa and Friends and Death to Striker due to good clips being snatched up too quickly, a lack of interest, and a number of other factors. There would be no return from this era of discord and despair. Only stolen views and Vlad calling me a leech in my own stream chat. Seek, as far as I know, is one of the most cracked minds behind certain programs such as Omega and Edo Pro. One of my most favorite programs of his being a script that downloads HD arts for Edo Pro, making it a more pleasant experience to play on outside of the Dark Magician players. However, one night he came to me with a proposition, a script that his friend had written to create clips. It would be tweaked, reprogrammed, and rebuilt to be targeted towards Yu-Gi-Oh! channels. We had edited down the script to focus on popular channels and clips with the most views, putting these clips through video editing software, and packaging it up to automatically upload into a YouTube channel called YugiTuberBot001. It would repeat this process hourly. As of writing this video, it currently has 63 videos, and we've updated the algorithm to be daily instead of hourly. By all accounts, this should be the end of Yu-Gi-Oh! clip channels. Much has happened after the development of YugiTuberBot001. Vlad had for the most part abandoned the Farfa and Friends channel and was hired by Farfa to edit for him personally on his main channel, only uploading on Farfa and Friends much less frequently than before. Death the Striker is enjoying a nice retirement at the age of 19 as he is currently performing medical malpractice at various hospitals worldwide. Quantel continues his crusade against the machines. Rolltrat still preaches the teachings of the Shining Angel, his entire channel still leached content to this day. And me? I've gotta upload something to keep the lights on while I make these videos. But until YugiTuberBot001 eventually kills content forever, I've been Stevie Blender, and thank you for watching.